So first of all, close all your Office applications. So if you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, whatever is open, close all the Office application and then open File Explorer in your computer and then go to this PC, open C Drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data over here on the top, click on View, select Show and then put a check on Hidden Items. Then open App Data folder. Now open the local folder. Now find Microsoft folder. Now once you find Microsoft, open Microsoft folder and then scroll down and then find Identity Cache folder. Make a right click and delete this folder. Once that is deleted, in the same location, scroll down and find one authorization folder. Open this folder and over here you will see accounts and blobs folder. So delete these two folder, make a right click and then click on delete and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can open Word or Excel and then you can try to log in. It will be asking you to sign in and enter your email and password. Now once you sign in, uh, you, this time you should not receive any error and you should be able to log, log in. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can close your Word file, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. So close all your Office application. So once you close all the Office application, now you can copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key now once you hit the enter key you will see it checking for update let the process complete and it's downloading microsoft 365 and office update Now, once you see updates were installed, you can close this and just restart your computer once. Now, after the system restart, after, uh, once you restart your computer, after the system restart, uh, you can open any Office application. You can open Word, Excel. So open any Office application and then you can go to File and then go to Account. Now, over here, you will see Update Options. So you can select Disable Update. So we will disable up, disable the update for some time. So just select disable update, click on yes to allow. And till the time, you know, Microsoft fixes this problem, like till the next patch or next update, you can just keep it uh, disabled. Now in future, whenever you, you want to enable it, you can always go to update option and you can enable it. But for now, keep it disabled and then you can start using the office application and you should not receive that error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel